Nyssa was originally meant to have appeared only in the Keeper of Traken as a supporting character. She was, therefore, the sole creation of writer Johnny Byrne, to whom royalties had to be paid when the character was used. Like the Brigadier in K9, she is a rare example of a series regular to whom the BBC does not enjoy sole copyright. Peter Davison was known to have preferred Nyssa over any of his other companions. He intervened on several occasions when John Nathan Turner attempted to write the character out of the series. Perhaps in deference to Davison's affection for Nyssa and in part because of Janet Fielding's long reluctance to appear in audio dramas, Big Finish Productions greatly expanded Nyssa's role. They built a network of stories in the televised gap between Tegan's departure in Time Flight and her return in Arc of Infinity which was very much greater than it had appeared on television. Starting with The Land of the Dead, the Fifth Doctor began a long series of audio adventures with Nyssa as his sole companion. Consequently, Nyssa is one of the most frequently appearing companions in the history of performed Doctor Who stories. Like the Fifth Doctor, Adric and Tegan, Nyssa was given a costume, rather than a basic look, by producer John Nathan Turner. Nyssa's original costume narratively originated on Traken. It suggested her highborn status. It consisted of a maroon velvet jacket, a diaphanous, iridescent skirt and multi-pastel, high-heeled shoes. It was accessorized with an ornamental hair comb and a woolly purse. This look persisted through the end of Part 2 of Castrovalva. However, long before this episode was filmed, it was determined the actor needed more practical clothing for the physical demands of her now co-starring role. She exchanged her skirt for a pair of maroon trousers, lost the purse and began wearing lower-heeled shoes. According to production notes on the DVD release of the preceding story, Logopolis, the second iteration of Nyssa's Royal Traken look was inspired by a rehearsal in which actress Sarah Sutton wore Nyssa's top but her own corduroy trousers. She also lost her hair comb. She completely abandoned the royal traken look in Snake Dance and changed her look every story thereafter until her departure in Terminus. Famously, her costume for her final story was mostly just the slip she had been wearing under her modern undead dress. Images of the older version of Nyssa on cover images for the audio arc in which she rejoined the TARDIS crew were based on contemporary photos of Sarah Sutton. Discounting the ambiguous status of various unit personnel, Nyssa is the first companion to be introduced in one story and established as a companion in another. She is the first companion to kiss the Doctor on screen. She was written out of the show when John Nathan Turner felt that the character had run her course. This upset both Peter Davison and Sarah Sutton. 